You're a, a near cabinet, cabinet level individual. You enjoy a term in Senate confirmation. Do you feel comfortable speaking to other members, uh, either cabinet level or sub cabinet level, when appropriate uh, to resolve problems be within the government? Absolutely. Okay. And so uh, when the FBI uh, censored the United States government, you, would, uh, you, you wouldn't have to just take it down by uh, calling Meta or Google, would you? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not sure I'm following the question. Are you familiar with the official verified Russian language account of the United States uh, uh, Department of State that was taken down at your agency's request? That doesn't ring a bell as I sit here right now, no. Okay, well, now you have something to take back and, and look at. Okay. Because, in fact, in this bundle uh, that SBU uh, constantly was submitting to uh, various uh, agencies was, in fact, a Russian language uh, individ you know, statement of, of a government. Literally, you took down the free speech of the Department of State. So... Yes, go ahead. You mentioned SBU. I'm not sure we're talking about the same thing, but I, I will endeavor to, to provide a little more context, at least as to SBU. Yes. Um, so uh, I believe what you may be referring to, but I'm not sure we're talking about the same thing, is that when Russia invaded Ukraine, uh, the Security Service of Ukraine, the SBU, which is a longstanding good partner of the FBI, uh, asked us for help on a whole range of things. Uh, and one of those things was to contact U.S. companies on their behalf because the Russians, the invasion, had cut off the Ukrainians' communications. And so we did pass through information from uh, the SBU to social media. Are you also familiar with the fact that President Zelensky has had to clean house at the SBU? I, I know there have been a number of personnel changes. Okay. Well, we'll follow up in, in, uh, with this in more detail. The, uh, the, the question I have for you is, uh, you're the premier law enforcement operation, and you're a former Department of Justice, high-ranking executive at all levels. So would you agree that the job of the FBI is criminal investigation? Is criminal investigation uh, and to protect the country from national security threats, those two okay. things. So... The, the idea that you take information and you have it taken down, use your authority and the, the leverage you have to have Meta, Google, uh, Facebook, or Facebook being Meta, or uh, Twitter, take down people's information uh, on things like where, where COVID came from, where do you find the national security interest in that? Where, where do you find the interest in free speech of American citizens being taken down? And I repeat, free speech of American citizens. Where, where do you have that authority? So we don't uh, ask social media companies uh, to censor information or suppress information uh, when it comes to national security threats, certainly. Uh, so what we do do is alert them when some other intelligence agency gives us information about a foreign intelligence service being behind some account, we will call social media companies' attention to that. But at the end of the day, we're very clear that it's up to the social media companies to decide whether to do something about it The suggestion it or not, of the most powerful law it. enforcement operation is not a suggestion. It is, in fact, effectively an order, 